Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, what we're going to talk about is basically this problem. Let's take a look at what we're going to uh, talk about. So, it's called the uh, uh, array rotation problem. So, given an array, rotate the array to the right by k steps, k is non negative. Try to optimize the time complexity. Input. So, if we are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 commas, and input is a list, if the, we want to move two steps to the right, then everything's going to move to the two steps and as you see here the 4 and 5 will come 4 and 5 at the front and then the other thing if this is 0 to 4 if we want to step by 1 and this the last 4 will come back to the 4 so let's see how we understand or how we uh, you know implement um, this algorithm here I guess there are multiple ways of doing it so first of all what I want to do is we want to take the input right let's say the array is uh, input split by comma, but what I want to do is I want to store them, right? X in, like, I want to, uh, X in 4, no, 4 X in, if that makes sense, 4 X in, so X, so I want to make them as kind of, you know, to a list, so what I mean by that is, if I want to print array, I mean, at this point, this already becomes our, um, really usual trend in our habit but what I just want to tell you is like this if that makes sense okay so that's the thing and we want actually all convert them to integers so that we won't have to repetitively have some syntax errors there we go that's what we want next thing we want to do we want to like loop through each element of the loop here now we need to think about it. So it, in this case, the i's represent the index of each element. So if this i, let's think about this. So if i plus k, which means if that index position is moved by k steps to the right, if that uh, change new index is smaller than, you know, if that's smaller than the length of an array, in this case, I guess it's 5, so if the maximum of this index to be um, valid, what I'm trying to do here is 4. Then if the maximum index is less than 4, I mean less than 5, which means it hit the last one, what I want to do is just, you know, move the index by 1. Now, how can we do it? Because we need to optimize the time complexity, we can compensate that 4 by generating um, uh, empty, I mean the extra space, so we can sort of compensate by generating extra space by saving some time complexity here. But what I want to do is equal zero. I'm going to initialize everything with zero. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know, um, it doesn't matter what you like put default value. Okay, be negative 100, it's up to you, times, I would say, length of an array. So this is how much I result. So what I want to do is I want to update the result um, i plus k equals array all right, so let's take a look at this code. So I want to move the original uh, element of index position i to the new position result i plus k. So uh, we just make a copy of uh, that array, and then we kind of update that value with uh, from the previous kind of um, implementation. Else, if what I mean by that, if the steps is over length of an array, which means if we want to move everything beyond the length of this array. What we want to do basically here is we want to uh, basically uh, redefine new index and how do you gonna need to define new index? The way we do is using mod operator because every time we sort of step through here we got to come back to this uh, the way we used to it is to taking thinking of the remainder. So depending on the remainder it's gonna find its own original position because this is sort of the periodic cycle uh, and then once you remember the concept in the algebra or calculus, if it has a fixed cycle that it, it's going to go over and over again as sort of division rule and whatever uh, determines its last positions would be how many remainders are going to be left at the last moment. So new index is going to be i plus k mod length of an array. So what I mean by that is if the i plus k is let's say 6 in this case, which is one, it, uh, I'll start from here. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mod length of an array five is one, which will go 
which we're located here. What about 7? It's here. 8, 9, same. If this is 5, then 5 mod 5 is 0, which will be that element 0 will be located at 0 again. So I guess this will make sense. And I want to update result new index, right? It's going to be same as array of that previous one. Now what I want to do is return result list. And what we want to do at the last moment is we want just to kind of print out the result and see if our result is correct. We can keep trying. And before we actually try doing it, why don't we just actually pass the parameters of the time steps, I mean the steps of k here, so that we can sort of understand uh, how much, how many time steps or how many like, steps that we want to move, you know? So we can just say, we can even just type it, right? k equals int input. Uh, how many times do how many steps right and we're going to feed the k into this parameter here and we're going to print out the results hopefully this is going to work how many steps um how about two because that was our initial ones right how many time steps and is it printing any uh oh i guess there's something wrong here okay so if we want to move to invalidator for int with base 10, int for base 10, how about we just say, like, to, let's just pass 2 here and see what's going on here. Is it, would it be the same result? I'm trying to check the bug of my problem. This is called debugging in computer science. Like, once you have the problem, you definitely want to check the result. How about... We just try k equal 2 here, just to make sure that we're on the right track or not. Because we all have to be cautious when we implement um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 1, 3. Perfect! What about what if k is 1? And if the input is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, only 4, I mean. Four, zero. Perfect! What about if the k is 4? Four? Four, let's move 4 steps. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What are we expecting after this? After it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10 going to be located here. Everything will be 20, 30. So the result should be turn out 20, 30, 40, 50, 10. Is it going to be like that? 20, 30, 40. Perfect. Now it's working. But if we were, if you want to feed this K here, right? And we can just do it. We can just like do it in many, many different ways. But I'm just trying to figure out like, oh, I see what you're saying. So, so K equals and input we should put like this uh, how many steps so previous reason if I want to explain to you why it was it wasn't working because it's called um, environment concept in Python or in any programming languages you know so I would say two how many steps two I'm sorry uh, let's call this function again so 10 20 30 40 50 how many times this? Four times steps. Okay, so that was working. Now, when I say k equals c, it only uh, it exists inside this function. But if I want to pass k, right, that's gonna make a problem because this k only exists inside of this loop, and this k wouldn't know where to go. So that was the problem. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you please subscribe to my channel. Have a good good day. Uh, thank you very much.